Hello and welcome to my next video. Mr.NET is here and today I'm going to explain the composite pattern. If we look into the UML diagram, we see a client and this client is use a I component interface. And this component interface is implemented from a leaf. The leaf is the primitive object and an composite and the composite is the complex object type. The advantage of this pattern is that the client does not know which type of object he is using. The client does not know if the component is a leaf or a composite. So I can encapsulate a complex hierarchy into a I component interface. The composite contains a list with other components. If we look into the source code, we need firstly an interface. Interface. And I call this interface I component. And this I components offers a method called operation from type void. Then I need a class. I call it the leaf. That's the primitive type of the I component. It implements the I component and also the method from the I component. The I component has or the leaf has a constructor. It takes an argument, the name and I create in my leaf a private string the name of the leaf. So in the constructor I say underline name is name. And the operation or for the operation I use console dot write line the name of the current component. The second object is a class called composite and this class also imp implements the component interface. So I need also the method operation and I create here also a constructor which takes a string as an argument and the composite has also a private string underline name and in the constructor I say this underline name is the argument name and also the operation prints the name of the composite to the console. The composite also contains a list of I components. I call it components and this is a new list with components. So if I call the operation on the composite I have to print out each name of the components. So I use varchar component for each loop component in components and each component has the operation method. Well, that's it. That's my composite which contains more components and the primitive object is the leaf. So in my program I create a leaf number one. This is a new leaf. The name is leaf underline one. 
then I create a leaf number two with the name number two and I also create a composite with the name composite on the line one and I create a second composite this is composite one composite two with the name composite 2. Then I insert into the composite 1 into the list the composite number 2. And I also insert into the composite 1 my leaf number 1 and the composite number 2 contains my leaf number 2 so at the end I have only to call the operation on my composite 1 so if I start the program I have the name composite 1 this is because I call the composite one operation and this method returns me the name of the current composite. Then I get the composite number two. This is because I insert into the composite one components list into this list my component number two and when I call the operation method from the composite one I iterate through my components and the first component is the composite number two so I get here the composite number two then I insert into the composite one the leaf number one but I'm recursive inside the composite number two and the composite number two contains the leaf number two so I get the name of the leaf number two and after I finish with the composite number two object I print out the next component in the list from the composite one and this is the leaf number one so that's the composite pattern i hope i explained it well for you if i forgot something please write this into the comments so i can improve my videos for you and hopefully i see you in the next video bye